In the heart of the ancient Mesopotamian cradle of civilization, where the echoes of history reverberate through time, a crisis of monumental proportions is unfolding. The Euphrates River, once a life-giving artery of the Fertile Crescent and a symbol of abundance, is now grappling with a profound and alarming transformation. Its waters are diminishing at an alarming rate, leaving a trail of parched earth and unsettling questions in its wake. The Euphrates River is not only one of the world's oldest rivers, but also one of the most significant rivers. This river is the site of a significant amount of historical events. The Euphrates River is in the process of drying up as it flows across portions of Western Asia. Why has the river historically struggled with maintaining enough water levels in its channels? To what extent does the Euphrates River play a significant role? Some people see the connection between the drying up of the river and the end of the world, but is this a valid theory? If one looks to the west of the Tigris River in Iraq on a map, they will quickly see that the Euphrates River is situated there. The village of Hila may be located in the immediate vicinity, while the nation's capital, Baghdad, can be found just across the Tigris from its mouth. Although it runs through Syria and Iraq, the Euphrates River is named after Turkey, where it originates. Before it reaches the Persian Gulf, the river flows into the Tigris and combines with it. It has a length of around 1,700 miles, and the average area of the basin is 190,000 square miles. The length of this river makes it the longest in all of Western Asia. The months of April and May often have a greater water level than the preceding months due to the increased amount of precipitation and runoff caused by melting snow. Along the river, you may still see remnants of the original vegetation. In the highlands of southeast Turkey, for instance, the Euphrates River runs through the Xeric woods. Along the shore of the river, you will also discover a variety of flora and trees, such as rose and plum trees, pistachio trees, and oak trees. Cereal crops such as wheat, rye, and oat are typical in climates with a higher drainage index. Not only is the Euphrates River stunning, with scenery that is sure to take your breath away, but there is a great deal of historical importance around the river as well. For instance, Sapar, Nippur, Shurupak, Meri, Rur, and Urkuk were all ancient cities that were located along the riverbanks. It was fortunate to have water. It gave the towns that were located along the river with agricultural land that was rich in fertility. Texts written in cuneiform that were discovered in Shurupak and pre-Sargonic Nippur include the first known references to the Euphrates River. It was created about the middle of the 3rd millennium BCE. An old Sumerian term for it was Burnuna, and people referred to it by that name. The name of the river is pronounced similarly to that of an ancient city that may be found in what is now the country of Iraq. There is a strong possibility that the city and the river were divinely related in some way. The Euphrates River is home to a diverse array of creatures, including fish, reptiles, fish, small mammals, and big mammals. Not only are there many kinds of animals, but there are also many kinds of plants and wildflowers. For instance, the Persian sand viper, the Levantine viper, the desert black viper, the beaked sea snake, and the yellow sea snake are the species of sea snakes that are most often found in the Euphrates River. Along the riverbed, willow trees and wild grass may be seen growing. In addition to the vegetation, there are also animals such as shrews, river otters, wolves, hedgehogs, and wild pigs that may be found here. They often consume the water that is found in the Euphrates River. Why has the Euphrates River been shrinking in size over the last many years? The many dams, the droughts, the water regulations, and the overuse of the water are only a few of the many reasons why. There are a lot of households in Iraq who depend on the river, and all of them are in severe need of water. The lack of precipitation in recent years is the primary factor contributing to the evaporation of the Euphrates River. They are facing the worst drought they have ever experienced in Iraq right now. Climate change and increasing temperatures are additional issues that have become problematic in Iraq and the surrounding region in recent years. Since many decades ago, this has been an issue. The drying up of the river will have an impact on more than 7 million people. Crops are failing as a result of little rainfall, excessive temperatures, and the drying up of the river. This has resulted in over 800 people 
abandoning their homes in the communities located near the Euphrates River. Sadly, the historical river Tigris is also suffering from a decrease in water levels and is drying up. According to IFL Science, the Amraki Ministry of Water Resources issued a warning in the year 2021 that the Tigris-Euphrates River system was in danger of drying up by the year 2040. This analysis attributed it to declining water levels and droughts driven by climate change, according to IFL Science. The lack of rainfall is certainly a contributing factor, but regulations that are unequally applied to water have made the situation considerably worse. Some regions that are dependent on the Euphrates River are influenced by political regimes that use water as a weapon by withholding water from other countries. These regimes are responsible for some of the problems that exist in these regions. According to the CSIS, in 2021 Syria accuses Turkey of restricting the flow of water from the Euphrates River along the border between Syria and Turkey. Dams constructed in Turkey situated farther upstream have also contributed to a decrease in water flow. The prolonged political unrest that has persisted in the area has had an effect on the water levels in some sections of the Euphrates. Even while the Euphrates River has not entirely dried up, its water level has fluctuated wildly throughout the course of history due to a number of factors. Years with minimal precipitation have been correlated with the Euphrates River having its lowest water levels. According to IFL Science, satellite imagery reveals that the Tigris and Euphrates River basins saw a loss of around 34 cubic miles of freshwater between the years of 2003 and 2013. Because of this, the water levels in certain rivers dropped to some of the lowest levels ever seen in recorded history. The natural annual flow of the Euphrates River near the border between Syria and Turkey has dropped over the course of the last seven decades, as shown by the inventory of shared water resources in Western Asia. The flow rate was around 30 BCM during the years 1930 and 1973, although evidence reveals that the total water levels have been falling. The construction of massive dams in upstream Turkey and Syria between 1974 and 2010 caused the mean annual flow volume to decline to around 25 billion cubic meters. As a result of the drying up of the Euphrates River, there is the potential for increased political instability as countries compete for water resources. It also results in a higher likelihood of contracting an illness. According to a research that was published in the British Medical Journal in March 2023, the drying up of the Euphrates River has caused some communities to be compelled to depend on polluted groundwater, which has led to the spread of cholera and typhoid fever. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel.